Hello everyone, welcome to this summary video. We are Ashka and Helmut. And we will show you the steps and structures that we used in our Milonga and Waltz class in the last three weeks. We started with the idea that it's not so much about the steps, but about the feeling, how we express the character of Milonga and Waltz. We start with Milonga. We were seeing the sequence of parallel hero. The structure was opening step, one, two, side, one, two, side. And again, one, two, side, one, two, side. To have a little bit more Milonga character, we can also start in the other direction. We said, da 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 at the end we were using already the first thing that we added that was a doubling of the sidestep. So after doing the full sequence, we just add another sidestep. So we prepare and one, two, three, four, five, six, close and side and continue. Into the other direction. Preparatory and close and side. Double. The second thing that we added was to walk more than two steps in one direction. Could be before we turn or after we turn. So, and now we went four steps. Now we see the same sequences for vals. And I was like, to take with your whole body. In Vals, our first adaptation was, as you could see now also, that the leaders do the steps a little bit smaller when we walk backwards, but that the lady will turn more, and we had the tendency to stretch the sidestep. So just what I just did. Stretch. And when I go backwards, when she's coming through, I close and I open together with her. Like this, we will turn more. One more time, ah, preparatory. The next element we added in Vals was that we double the backward step for the leaders and the forward step for the ladies. First in the same speed, later also doubling from the speed. Why do I double the backward step for the leader? Because it's more safe. 
It was the easier version. Later, we will also use it forward. So we could have possible as well. The next variation was that we don't only double the sidestep by repeating it, but we double it also in the sense of the timing. So when we count, it will be one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Wappa dum, wampa da, pa da. Let's do it with the music. And so on. Let's see this once with a milonga. Now we were keeping it single time with a double. Now do it in double time. Yes, the last thing we had seen was a stop. And for, we used the piece La Vida es una Milonga by Pedro Laurenz. And uh, the piece starts with This very moment of the beginning is a syncopation. And we can use it just as a stop. The first we will use for a side step. Afterwards, we will use it for any step that we are dancing. So we have One more time. So, enjoy the moment where you are bang, on both legs and then we continue. If it happens to be the last step, it's very nice to have the closing part before we double to continue. Let's show this once with the closing. So, we have one. So, these were all the elements that we had seen in the first three classes. We'll make another video for you at the end of the course. Enjoy practicing.